What's up everybody? Welcome back to episode 8 of Nightmare from the Deep 2, The Siren's Call. In the last episode, we got a bunch of stuff. We collected a bunch of items and stuff for the... For quite a lot of different puzzles and stuff. We got the, the sledgehammer to open up the... Uh, what do you, what do you call it? The cabinet thing. We found a stethoscope, don't even know what that's for yet. Uh, we got the stone picture for down in the bunker thing. Uh, we got a door knob. We got, we got a bunch of stuff when we found the last matrix piece. So we basically we spent last episode kind of collecting a bunch of stuff. And we also discovered that the, the octopus, uh, I thought it was a horn originally. I don't know why. I thought he was he was blowing on it to kind of call the kraken, but it's just a statue uh, that is kind of the vessel that contains the siren's power. And uh, Murray may got forced the the siren lady uh, Calliope to make the the statue, and then he controls the the kraken from that. So. I th we also discovered that there's a range to it, uh, which was in written in his his journal. So, I wonder if uh, Calliope can control the Kraken beyond the beyond that range. So yeah, we, we we learned a little bit and we got a bunch of stuff. So now in this episode, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be tackling each of these puzzles. We're gonna see how many we can get through. Um, and what we can discover. Um, but before we do that, I just want to remind you guys that if you guys haven't subscribed and you're enjoying this series, please definitely do hit the subscribe button. That helps grow my channel and uh, gets my channel to uh, be visible to more people. So if you want to see this channel grow, definitely uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like and all that sort of stuff. Any kind of engagement on this video makes it more visible uh, in YouTube's algorithm. So uh, if you do that, thank you guys so much uh, for doing that. Um, and yeah, if, hopefully I can get this channel to a milestone. I'm hoping to get to 50 subscribers. I'm not sure what the time frame will be, but that's going to be my first milestone for this channel. Um, so if you guys want to contribute to getting us there, I think I'm currently on 11 subscribers. So uh, hopefully we can, we can get that number up to, I think, I think this channel has been running for about three months now. So we got 11. So, um, and I've, I've been seeing a little bit of increase, uh, in, in viewers and stuff coming over. So, uh, if you guys want to help me get the channel to 50 subscribers, definitely hit the subscribe button. Uh, sh share this video around with people that you think might like it as well. Um, and in the last episode, I also mentioned that... Uh, I have a, a tutorial channel called The Wizard Tower. So if you guys are interested in kind of learning more about how game design and uh, how to make games and stuff, I'm going to be posting more content over on that channel. I've been working on a massive project uh, that's going to have a lot of uh, uh, devlog series and tutorials and stuff coming out all about that. So uh, if you're interested in anything game design related, uh, CG arts and all that sort of stuff, head over to my other channel. Uh, as the wizard lord, I will teach you my wizarding ways over on that channel. So, uh, if you're interested, definitely go over there and check my stuff out. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into it. I'm, I'm rambling enough right now, so let's let's get into it and let's start with the stone picture. In fact, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna order this the way that we think we're probably gonna use it. All right, so let's do this puzzle first. The chest is gone. Oh. I can only hope my ally got it before the mayor did. True. <clears throat> How dare he? I don't think it was my ally. I think it was. I think it was Murray. All right. Well, this goes up here. This goes up here. And then this goes over here. Always do the corners of a puzzle first. Edges. This goes down. Down to doop. Doop. 
Uh, this goes up here. We got some middle pieces. That goes at the top. That goes up here. And then this goes at the top. Uh, and we have another bottom piece. It goes like this. And then this. And like this. Easy. Boom. Alright, so we got the, the lock thing for the door. <coughs> got another book. The legend is true. Davy Jones is alive and well. He is highly ma he's a highly magical being known to grant wishes in contracts with horrible catches in the fine print. Basically the devil. Uh, only a true sea wolf in dire circumstances can summon Davy Jones by... Uh, shunting uh shouting shunting <laughs> by shouting his name into the seven winds into the seven winds interesting that's a, that's a i like that idea that's kind of a cool idea um <clears throat> but one shouldn't think twice one should think twice before doing it uh, if you intend to deal with davy jones remember he's cunning and treacherous he's a cunning and treacherous sea devil don't be surprised if your wish comes true in an unexpected way. If you break the pact, he'll strip you of your power and wealth and you'll suffer other consequences. Uh, if you mess around in Davy Jones's business, you best be prepared to meet the devil himself. He doesn't like meddlers. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna meet him, since we're meddling currently. Uh, there has to be a way to trick the trickster. Dash M. Oh, are we setting up for the next game? Because I know the next game is uh, called Davy Jones. Yeah. That's that's one thing I like about um, like if if you're reading a story or something and they kind of like set up something just like in in very subtle ways. They kind of just like leave some breadcrumbs for future. Like, if you're watching a television series or something, and they'll leave, like, little breadcrumb sort of things to... in different episodes, and then you kind of piece it... it kind of pieces itself together for, like, a, a reveal in, like, maybe that season, or... What's even better is if it, like, pans out in, like, a later se like, two or three seasons down the road, and you're like, oh, that links back to this. I, I, I just... I love that sort of writing. I think it makes things more engaging and more interesting. You have to kind of remember, and you kind of get rewarded for having having watched the previous episodes and kind of paid attention to those sorts of details. But I, I wonder if that's that's going to be related to this episode or this episode, uh, this game, or if it's going to be uh, in the third game of the series. Very interesting. All right. <clears throat> so we got the matrix pieces now. News paper office. Uh, I can run a printing matrix through rollers to print a copy. It looks like it's damaged though. <clears throat> Something else goes here. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff that we to get. I'm assuming we're going to get ink from this, so... Hold on, is the Kraken an octopus? Maybe we get Kraken ink. Man, that would be that would be a dope-ass print. <laughs> Printing with Kraken ink. Okay, so we need to repair this somehow. The cord has been cut. I'll have to insulate the wires before I can use the printing press. Okay, so we need some kind of tape. Alright, I don't think anything's down here. So, okay, maybe we won't do that then. We'll use the sledgehammer. And maybe there's something in that cupboard that might be insulating. Considering it's on a... It's on a semi-electric ship. Oh, he did get it. 
There you are. I brought both the chest and this little fellow. He squirmed and complained all the way through the cemetery, but here we are. Well, is he like attached to the chest? Tokens. That's good. We need them all to open the chest. Do you know where we are? This is Murray's ship. Before he was the mayor, he was a fearsome pirate. That I have learned. When we founded Kingsmith, we gave up on sailing and piracy. At least, most of us did. Wait, was he one? Behind these doors is where Murray locks up people who approach. I didn't even think of that. He used to hold the siren there. If we're lucky, Calliope will be in it. Charu, because he's also a fisherman, so he must have been a pirate. Didn't didn't make that connection. Alright, so the cupboard's up here. Break it to it. Okay, it looks like a a safe dial. Oh, is that is that what this stone ring is? Maybe it's like a part of a safe. Wait, what? This guy died in a cupboard. Is is this like a coffin? Damn, that's brutal. Killed and then sh stuffed into a cupboard. All right, so let's put this on. We also need these. The rings are ready, but I don't know their pattern. I could use a clue. Or I could just figure it out just by by brute forcing it. Hello, mate. So Calliope should be in the prison right behind those doors. Yes, we need to open it. First, we need to f I actually can't remember where this Hold on. What's that? No, this isn't safe. Mr. Robinson. Is that the name of that guy that was in the cupboard? Oh, here we go. Here's a safe. Alright, we pop that on there, and then we use this. So we can hear... Weeks. Oh. Oh wait, there's a number at the top. Hey, hold on, hold on. Can we can we reset it? How do I reset? Oh, okay. This is like a mastermind game. Well, we got six at the top, so so that was six, six. Now, obviously, it wasn't six, so let's go. Uh, zero. Seven. Five. We got correct, correct. Okay, so then. Zero is correct. No, 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 no. Don't, don't suggest hints. I will figure this out. And then three is just wrong. I don't know why those are question marks, but it's a cross. Unless it's saying 
that neither the number nor the nor the position are correct. So three isn't used at all. Okay, so that's good to know. I th I think that's what that means. Because uh, blue is this question mark, so I think because we used five and six, that also shows it up here, and they're all question marks. But we also know that zero was correct. It's saying that those digits are correct, but they're in the wrong place. Okay, so uh, we used the seven, so let's use another number that we haven't used. So let's go with eight. Okay, so eight and seven seem to be used. So let's start off with six. Six. And then, so that's clearly not seven, so let's go eight. All right, and then we will go Uh, let's go 9, and then we'll go 5, and we'll go 0, then let's go 4. Okay, so 9 isn't used. But four apparently is. Okay, so let's start with six. Six. Eight. Let's try seven. Six, seven. Red seven. Seven appears, but it's not used so. Uh, four was also useless. Let's try four here. Actually, we could try eight, seven, eight. <coughs> oh, actually, we we'll use. I think. I think it has to be four, right? Because then seven might go here and eight goes here. Oh wait, it's not eight. Ah, oh, okay. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, and then five. And then zero. And then four. No, eight. Okay. So then, if it's not, if seven doesn't go here, seven goes at the end. Uh, and then it goes four and then eight. So let's go uh, six. Four, eight, five, zero, seven. Boom! Oh, look at all of that money! Uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I kind of want that. You're not a very good, uh, uh, pirate captain, Miss, Miss Sarah? Sticky resin. What the heck am I supposed to use this for? We need the disc for that. Um, we need the information for this. Um, oh, God. Oh, here we go. Locker. Uh, so I think it said Robinson. Mr. Robinson. So, 
So it's the we have to get to, so what? Five plus seven. Because eight. Oh. oh wait, this is oh right, right. We have to consider that there are minuses. Alright, hold on. Okay, so we multiply seven by three. We have twenty one. We need to get three, so I guess nine divided by three is going to be three. Or we could go two divided by six. And then nine plus four is thirteen. And then we need to get to eight, so nine minus one. <clears throat> and eight plus five, easy. Ooh, a paperweight. <clears throat> and we got a bank note, which covered by these books. I couldn't. Complete the octopus drawing or without a pencil. <laughs> well, we'll take the list. Uh, let's open this. A half of a glass. Glasses. Man, she a, she a professional lock picker. This this Sarah chick knows <laughs> knows certain certain tricks. Apparently she can draw as well. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, so we need a bank note. <coughs> oh yeah, octopus. Bank note. A feather. Right there. A lighter. Right here. A, a locket. Bow tie. Because bow ties are cool. Anyone who watches Doctor Who. A <laughs> uh, watch, a ruler, a straw, drinking straw. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. And some ink. Oh, is this the ink for the the machine? Yes, it is. I'll take that. All right. Resin. Maybe the resin will insulate the right the wires. Don't know if that's going to be the case, but let's might as well try. All right. Let's. Let's take a look, see, shall we? Nope. Oh, we can add this. Okay, so then need some kind of tape. Let's check out our map. Is there anything suggesting action? The hideout. Okay. Oh right, that's what this goes to. <laughs> we have to assemble the plate first. Uh, this probably goes. Uh... Oh right, okay. Hey. Okay. Oh, I put that in the right spot by accident. Just... 
Alright, let's, let's get these out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, um, this has a top piece and I'm up to it, so put that there. I'll lose that circle. It's there. Hmm. It goes down here. Okay, we have to do that first. So we're looking for the insulated tape. Uh, paper knife, a signature. Oh, oh, can we knock this over? Hundred percent. I don't have ink yet. Give me some ink. Alright, now let's sign our signature. Whip. Signature. Stamp. A cigar. A film reel. An abacus. A set square, which is Tia. A percentage sign. Damaged gate. And there we go. Do it a ting. Oh, we need another thing. All right. Oh. I wanted to see the the Newton's cradle knocking out. All right, let's tape this up. Bam! And bam! So now we need paper, I'm assuming. Do you have paper? A ring pattern. Oh, then that's probably for the door. All right. Ink? Yeah. All right. Let's quickly head back to the door. Go on here. It does indeed. Oh, I see. Is the this goes there?
Oh, cool. Okay, so we have to make uh, each of these. So, is that what we need to do? Tentacles. Um. Okay, the fish tail. And bam, we have unlocked the door. All right. Well, <laughs> I wait. We aren't going to go into that room on this episode. I'm going to leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Now I have a feeling she might not be in there. Uh, it looks like a, maybe it's a bigger prison, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here because we've just hit the half an hour mark. Uh, so. If you guys want to see what is behind the door, you're going to have to wait till next episode. But, uh, we did quite a bit this episode. We got through pretty much all of the puzzles. We we used up all of the items that we collected last episode, minus uh, the harpoon gun. Uh, and we now have some sticky resin, so not sure what that's going to be used for. Potentially in here. We might use it. Um, but yeah, so we, we got through all of those puzzles um, pretty uh, pretty quickly, actually. So we've made a decent chunk of progress. So now, we're going to see if we are going to free Calliope, which I, I doubt. I seriously doubt. Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the point of the, the, the whole game, right? So I doubt she's going to be in there, but I mean, maybe we'll, we'll be... Uh, misdirected and she actually is but yeah so until the next episode um trying to th just trying to think if we're, there's anything else we we missed no uh, yeah i think i think i'm gonna end it here i'm not gonna maybe talk too much uh on on things uh, it was just ma mainly doing puzzles this time uh i did the the safe puzzle actually is a game that I've I worked on creating uh, for a previous project when I when I worked at uh, a studio called Humble Sage. Uh, we we added some kind of mini games, and one mini game in particular that we we're adding into a, a project we we're working on was uh, the Mastermind game. So I kind of already knew how to solve that puzzle because I had uh, worked on making uh, that as a mini game prior. So. So yeah, if you guys uh, struggled with that puzzle, I'd be interested to know if you did, uh, or if you, you knew what the symbols meant, uh, and the strategy to kind of easily solve those sorts of puzzles. I didn't employ, like, every strategy. So there's, there's a couple of ways to solve that puzzle. You can just blindly put in every single uh, digit, or every single color, or, or whatever the, the game type is. Uh, and it will give you back the feedback on what digits work and what don't and then you put in the rest in your second turn of the the numbers that you didn't work that you didn't use uh, and then you could kind of figure out what numbers are used what ones aren't uh, from from that that gives you all the information in two steps and then from there you just have to kind of figure out the order um, so yeah there's, there's a different strategy I didn't employ it uh, for it because I didn't think it'd be too difficult um, uh, but yeah, kind of it's kind of fun as a game developer. You come across uh, certain puzzles, and you, you kind of have like an insider knowledge almost. Uh, sometimes when it comes to playing games, in my in my other series, the uh, what is it? Uh, I'm blanking on the name of it now. Resident Evil uh, on the Resident Evil game, uh, kind of understanding how the AI works and kind of the the just understanding level design in general it kind of helped me navigate that game uh, and kind of figure out things a little bit easier on what I'm supposed to do uh, just by having that kind of knowledge on on level design so uh, it's it's fun when I when I play games and I can kind of get into the mind of the developer uh, it's it's really interesting for me when I'm playing a game to kind of see oh 
the they were intending on you to play it like this and and it's even more interesting if i go to play it a different way to what i know the developers were intending because that's kind of one of the things i love about puzzle games is that part of the fun is you don't always have to solve it the same way as maybe it was intended and a good puzzle game the developers will you'll kind of be forced to solve it the way that the developers want you to um but but if you're if you're clever enough you can figure out a solution that isn't the intended uh solution potentially um, I, th I think that that's super fun uh which is which is kind of like you start to dive into the realm of like speed running and exploiting uh doing like exploits and stuff i think all that sort of stuff is really interesting from a game developer standpoint like some people will do certain tricks that kind of take advantage of your hardware and quirks of the hardware to kind of get an advantage in the game uh, others will just kind of think around the problem in a completely different way to what you might have been intending on the solution and stuff so so yeah it's, it's fun that's why i love playing puzzle games in particular because it's it gets you thinking in a bunch of different ways and i, I just love that kind of stimulation it really gets my my brain ticking um, but yeah, so if you guys are enjoying this series so far and all that sort of stuff, definitely leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm filming a couple of these episodes back to back. Last episode, I got you guys to tell me what your favorite uh, location is on the map. So if you uh, if you have a favorite location, you can also drop it in the comments. I'm, I'm interested to see what, guy, what you guys like um, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, uh, we're going to end it here so I don't ramble too much because I definitely love to talk sometimes uh, and we are going to come back in the next episode and we're going to see if Calliope is in the room or as what I'm predicting is that she probably isn't uh, and we have to go elsewhere so uh, or maybe we have to kind of unlock her cell and that might be it might be a puzzle challenge there because I, I remember in the last game we were we were getting close to to freeing Sarah's daughter, and we would, like catch a glimpse, but then just just pulled away from her, uh, pulled away from us just at the last moment. So maybe we'll get that in the next episode. But we're gonna have to wait till next week when the next episode drops. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and all that sort of stuff. Leave likes for this sort of stuff. Uh, check out my other channel if you're interested in that as well. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching.